Hello and welcome to week two of the summer reading program with the Harney County Library and Miss Heather. I am very excited about our stories for today. We are doing Wild About Animals. So these are just stories that remind us how exciting animals are and that we just love them very much. Before we start that, we have one small finger play to do called Baby Mouse. I know some people really love mice and I've actually held one in my hand before. It was so tiny. Maybe I'll share a picture at the end. So I need you to get out your hands. Can you get out your hands and your wiggly fingers? All right, you're gonna take that hand and you're gonna put it into a fist and you're gonna hide it behind your back. Are you ready? Follow along with me. Where are the baby mice? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Can you guys squeak with me? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh, you're very good at that. You might be mice. I cannot see. Let's peek right here. Here they come out of their hole. One, two, three, four, five. And that's all. So our next story is going to be about cats. It's called Cat Skidoo. Cat Skidoo by Bethany Roberts, illustrated by R. W. Alley. Kittens in the window, one cat too. Jumping down for cat. Skidoo, pit pat, pit pat, across the floor, mew mew, out the door, kittens in the garden, one cat too, sniffing digging. Cat skidoo, willy nilly, run run run. Tumble tangle, having fun, kittens by the pool, one cat too, don't get wet cats. Skidoo, hurry scurry, high and low. Scritch, scratch, scritch, up cats go. Kittens in the elm tree, one cat, two. Jump back down for cat skidoo. Helter skelter, roll and bounce. Skitter scatter, leap and pounce. Kittens in the green grass, one cat too. Here comes dog, so. Cat skidoo! Hide and seek, rush, rush, rush. Stop, listen, hush, hush, hush. Someone's calling, one cat too. Zip, skip, cat skidoo. Scramble up steps into the house, pit pat, pit pat, quiet as a mouse. Drink that milk, one cat too. Licking, lapping, cat skidoo. Kittens in a basket, slower, slow. Yawn and stretch and curl up just so. Kitten sleeping, one cat too. Purr and dream of cat skidoo. The end. So next we are going to do a quick little owl story. And I have my cute little owl buddies here with me and they are going to go up into a tree. We're just gonna pretend the blue is a tree. One owl, when the moon was new, along came another owl and that made two. You guys are good. Two little owls perched high in the tree. Along came another owl and that made three. Three little owls flew to the barn door. Along came another owl and that made four. Four little owls lined up side by side. 
really close to side by side. Along came another owl, and that made five. Five little owls hooted, hoo 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 hoo, and they all flapped their wings and flew away. Can you guys hoo for me? Hoo 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 hoo, hoo 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 hoo. Nice. Hi, Harry. The moving story of how one slow tortoise slowly made a friend by Martin Waddell, illustrated by Barbara Firth. Harry Tortoise sat on his tree stump. He wanted to play. But he had no one to play with. Along came Buster Rabbit. Hi, Buster, said Harry. Can I play with you? Can't stop, gotta go, gotta keep going, Buster called. Going where, asked Harry. But Buster was gone. Stan Badger came by. Hi, Stan, said Harry. Can't talk now, Stan called. Why not? Harry asked. But Stan Badger was long gone. Along came Sarah Mouse. Hi, Sarah, said Harry. I've got to hop. Can't be late, Sarah said. Late for what? Harry asked. But Sarah Mouse wasn't there anymore. I wish I had someone to play with, thought Harry. Someone not quick, who has time to play with a tortoise. Harry set off. So slow, slow. Slowly to find someone to play with. Hi, Mushroom, said Harry. Hi, Rock, said Harry. Hi, Pond, said Harry. Hi, Harry, said Harry to Harry. Hi, Harry, said someone. Who said that? gasped Harry. It was me, said Sam Snail. Can I play with you, Harry? Yes, Harry said. They played slow races. Heads in and heads out. Turn around and turn around again. Then they sat by the pool and they talked and talked about being a tortoise and being a snail, about tree stumps and puddles and mushrooms and moss and the trouble with rabbits and badgers and mice and how good it is to be slow. And how nice how very, very nice it is to be friends. The end. All right, this one is really fun and by two of my favorite pairings, Audrey Wood and illustrated by Don Wood. It's called Quick as a Cricket. Quick as a Cricket by Audrey Wood, illustrated by Don Wood. I'm as quick as the cricket. I'm as slow as a snail. I'm as small as an ant. I'm as big as a whale.
I'm as sad as a basset. I'm as happy as a lark. I'm as nice as a bunny. I'm as mean as a shark. I'm as cold as a toad. I'm as hot as a fox. I'm as weak as a kitten. I'm as strong as an ox. I'm as loud as a lion. I'm as quiet as a clam. I'm as tough as a rhino. I'm as gentle as a lamb. I'm as brave as a tiger. I'm as shy as a shrimp. I'm as tame as a poodle. I'm as wild as a monkey. I'm as lazy as a lizard. I'm as busy as a bee. Put it all together and you've got me. The end. You guys are so many wonderful things, and I'm glad that you have all of the different talents that you have. I hope you enjoyed today's stories about all these wonderful little <laughs> fun and mixed up animals. These We're just wild about the animals that are out there in this world. And <laughs> remember that you can be as quick as a cricket. I think you guys will be really good outside. Just also remember to listen to your teachers. Thank you for joining me for story time. Bye. See you next time.